Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 948 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would really help me out. And we are here to help out Linda today, who let me know that there are quite a few changes here. We've got a super hard level, I can tell by this horned skull in the blue background. We have 31 moves to clear out 66 jelly. So obviously there's going to be jelly under the chocolate, even though I can't see it. And there's jelly under this licorice shell. And definitely there's jelly in these corners here, and I'm mostly worried about these. Because the center, even though I have to hit this several times, here's the good news. There are some changes in that we have a reduction of moves, but we have some good things. We don't have licorice locks all the way over on the top, and this is very similar to the popcorn when it's closed, but it's partially open, so we only have to hit it twice before we get that color bomb. We do have chocolate on the board. I'd like to remove it right away. I can't. So let's go ahead and make a stripe and open things up a bit and see what we can do. Now I can take that out and hit here. Ooh, and I can make a wrapped candy. Take out chocolate, use a stripe. That looks pretty good. I could make a stripe along here, or I could take this out. I'm thinking about just removing the chocolate. No, I'm going to go for the stripe. I'm going to need a lot of firepower on this board. Ooh, here we go. And we take out a lot of chocolate. So much firepower that I'm really going to have to invest in figuring out how to make some specials that can help. Yeah, this chocolate is getting unwieldy. So let's clear that out when we can. And now we still have to reach into these corners and we still have to hit this twice with some sort of special. Not easy to do. I kind of like where this is. I would prefer it if it were nestled down just one more bit. This is getting thin. Let's see what we can do to clear out this frosting. It's not going. I'm going to have to make a nice big explosion here and take out some of this and hope for some good cascading. Yeah, reasonable cascading. And I get a stripe. Anytime I have an opportunity to make a stripe, I wonder, could I put a blue here to make a color bomb? Probably not, but I've got a good move here. So I might as well do a few things while I'm trying to figure this out. I know that I might lose this if I don't take it right away, though. That's the problem. Let's go ahead and take it now because it didn't seem to be working out. I can make another stripe, could I somehow turn this into a wrapped? If I could bring down three candies in these columns, then this would drop down one and this would drop down one and I could make a wrapped. But I can't because anything I do will upset the other area. Hmm. This is one of those levels where it, it pays to examine all of your moves instead of just taking the very first thing that you see. So now I've got these green here. Can I drop this down one? Ah, <sighs> I don't see it. I can't make a move here, 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 or here. I can bring all of it down, but that doesn't help very much. If this is green though, doing this would give me a a color bomb. And if it's not green, at least I get a stripe. I kind of like that because of where it is aimed, if I can hold it there. I don't want to make any move that's going to slide that down before I get the chance to use it. Oh, hello. Oh. I feel like on this board everything is just one off from where I want it to be. And it's taking a while to set these things up, and I don't think I have enough turns to keep doing this. But there we go. That's now open. I want to set these off separately. I would love to get this set up with something, probably a stripe instead of a wrapped. And the reason is the wrapped falls down really quickly. And I've got things up here I need to reach. But how do I get a stripe out of all this? I think I can do it with the... Oh, hello! 
I can do another color bomb. Is that the best, though? It would take out a layer of everything, but this is multiple layers thick. I don't think it is the best choice. Except this is likely to explode and create chaos for me. Hmm, this is a tough one. I do think it is a good idea. It will take a layer off of everything, and it will kind of reset the board and give me a chance to make more fun things. Oops, hello. If I had had the choice between that or a stripe, I would have taken a color bomb stripe. But I didn't have that choice. So, yeah, Linda, I can see why this is called a super hard level and why you uh, are looking for some help. Let's explore the other question you asked, which is what boosters would I use? Well, I would probably use some of these entry boosters, especially hoping that a color bomb and a striped wrapped might land somewhat close together. If I were really frustrated, I would just booster up with everything and use them. But I've got a nice cache here, so I can afford to do that. The other thing I might consider doing is playing until you're really familiar with it, really comfortable with the level, and then when you get close, just use that last lolly hammer to get rid of that last jelly if you can get that far. Uh, but to me, the color bomb, if I had to choose just one, the color bomb is the one I think is most likely to help because you can take out a color, concentrate everything down, and then have a better chance of making more of those color bombs. So what I'm going to do now is pause the recording. I'm going to come back with a new board. I'm going to have the microphone turned off until I have something important to say, and I'm going to keep trying to do this without boosters. Okay, so I know that I have probably freaked a lot of people out by just playing kind of wildly and not taking the very best moves possible, but that is how I play, kind of instinctively. So sorry about that. I just blew things up and it tended to work toward my favor, but uh, I really did focus on those corners when I had the opportunity and I think that was the difference. All told, it took fewer than five tries. I hope this helps you, Linda, and everyone else. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.